Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you're new around here, my name is Aiden, and in today's review, we actually have something on the channel that we've actually never reviewed before. It's definitely been a long time coming. In today's review, we will be taking a look at the Ermax TN in the black and red colorway. Now, this shoe did recently release on the Night website. I'm very excited for this one to be the very first pair of TNs we've ever reviewed. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So first things first, just like we always do before we take a look at the shoes, let's just get the packaging out of the way. Now for this one, we just get that pretty bog standard Nike Red Sportswear box. You've seen one, you've seen them all, so let's not take up too much time on that. If we then take a quick look at the label which reads, we have the Nike Air Max Plus in the University Red and Black colorway. And this is a personal pair as it is a UK size 9. So that's the size label for anyone who wants to check that out. Outside of that, if we then just open up the box itself, on the inside, again, regular tissue paper, nothing exciting there. But then underneath that, here we have the kicks. So let's go ahead and get straight into the shoes. So without any further ado, the moment we've all been waiting for, in hand, we have the Nike Air Max TN in the black and red colorway. Now, I know that a lot of people call these the Air Max Pluses. I've always called them the TNs. I'm going to keep calling them the TNs throughout the rest of this video. So just bear with me. That's just what we call them around here. So that's what we'll go with. Now, we haven't actually done a pair of TNs on the channel. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's just not really on my mind or maybe there just hasn't been many releases I've been interested in. But as soon as I saw these pop up on Nike's website, there was absolutely no chance I could let these ones pass me by. So if you are new around here, this is the very first video you've seen of mine. In my reviews, I tell you everything that you need to know from materials through to sizing. So by the end of this video, you can decide for yourself whether this is something you'd also like to add into your own personal collection as well. So just dive in straight into this one, starting out with the upper to begin with. And as is to be expected when it does come to the TN, the vast majority of the upper has been constructed from this mesh material. Now for this one, we do have a really nice gradient design of both black and red, or bread just to simplify things. And I will be completely honest, these actually look a lot better in person than they actually looked on the website. That's the case with a lot of shoes to be completely honest because there's like lighting involved and it can sometimes oversaturate the colors. And even now in that my current lighting setup, maybe the camera's not doing this shoe the justice it deserves. But when you pull these out of the box, the way the blacks merge with the reds and the reds with the blacks, just the way that it looks in hand, it's definitely a really, really nice colorway. Now I'm by no means a TN collector and there are only certain ones that I actually gravitate towards and actually want to pick up. But based on all the TNs that I've seen this year that I've actually released, I would argue that this is probably one of the nicest looking colorways. You can never go wrong when it comes to bread, but just the way the color blocking has actually been done, chef's kiss it looks absolutely incredible. Now to add something a little bit different and give the shoe even extra flavor, the entire upper on this shoe does also feature 3M materials. So take a picture of these with the flash on, it's gonna light up like your Christmas tree and it looks even better, elevates it to an entirely new level. And I do know that the TN does normally feature some 3M materials, but to see it on the entire upper, next level just looks absolutely incredible. Now the upper does also feature these wave light patterns or right the way throughout the upper of the shoe itself. Now based on a little bit of reading that I did, apparently the design of this shoe was actually inspired by like a sunset. So the waves on the actual shoe itself are supposed to be palm trees. Definitely a really nice vibe. They've actually not the same as what you would see on a typical TN release as it is normally like an exoskeleton or a TPU cage. This time it's actually just printed into the mesh material. So there's actually no additional material there. It's just completely all mesh in there. So maybe that might, yeah, maybe feel a little bit better on feet. The fact that you don't have the exoskeleton, but overall, again, the way it looks is absolutely fine for me. Now, some of the other little details that are definitely worth noting is we do have this black rubberized toe cap to add into that reinforced look and feel. And then onto the mudguard, we then have this pretty nice black new book, again, featured right the way around the shoe itself. As we then work our way into the midfoot portion, we then have, again, more of that black and red color blocking on the Nike swoosh, which has been constructed from a TPU material. And the same can be said on the medial side of the shoe as well. And as we then work our way towards the back end of the shoe, just like what we saw with the mudguard, we do see more of that black new book material featured with that TN Air branding, which just never gets old. I remember having the TN hat back in the day. If I can find a picture of it, I will throw it up on screen. But I remember when I got it, I think I got it from like Sports Direct actually. It just, that TN design, that logo, absolutely incredible. Now for this one, you do want to get one set of laces. You don't get any additional sets of laces. If you do a lace swap with a TN, I'd be very surprised anyway. You just get those pretty typical black rope shoelaces, which are doing the job for me. And they're actually weaved between these eye stays, which are actually woven into the actual mesh material. So again, a very nice touch. 
Now the tongue does also feature that same 3M mesh detailing like we saw throughout the vast majority of the upper. And as we then work our way to the top of the tongue, we do see more of that black nubuck material at the top of the tongue with the Nike swoosh and the Air branding done in again that black and red color blocking. Onto the inside of the shoe, we then have this very nice black nylon material on the sock liner. You know, it's pretty typical if you ever owned a pair of TNs before, very soft to the touch. Pretty decent amount of padding to be completely honest and overall no complaints there and then as we do work our way onto the inside of the shoe we do have a mostly all black insole featuring that Nike Air branding in red, very nice indeed. And then just to close that in terms of the details, as we work our way down to the midsole, we do have some visible air units at the forefoot as well as towards the heel. And I do believe that this is actually a carbon fiber shank plate underneath the midfoot. I might be wrong. If I am, do feel free to correct me in the comment section down below. But overall, a very, very nice look. Again, featuring that black and red color blocking. As we then work our way onto the outsole of the shoe, we do have that classic TN outsole done in that mostly black and red color. And again, we do have that TN branding featured underneath the midfoot again. Very, very nice. Now, when it does come to the sizing for these, I did actually make a little bit of a mistake. It's been quite some time since I've actually owned a pair of these and I completely forgot how they fit. So I went true to size for the UK size nine. Now, as I'm a wide footer, that was probably the wrong thing to do as it does actually feel quite tight. Now, I can unlace it and I, you know, or loosen the lace, I should say, and it does go on, but the tongue just bulges because of how fat my feet are. So I do feel like going a half size up would have been the better option. With that, you do have to bear in mind that it is quite a long shoe in general and it's quite narrow. So even though the maybe the width isn't the best, if you are a wide footer, if you then go a half size up or even a full size up, the length might then be the problem. I would definitely recommend to try before you buy. So if you can actually try a pair of TNs before ordering these, if this is the one you're going for in particular, just so that way you can understand the best sizing for you. I made the mistake. I might have to actually send these back unless I can work something out and maybe then have to order a half size up. So personally, I'm going to say if you have narrow feet or just regular feet, going true to size, you should be absolutely fine. But if you are on the wider footed end like me, I would definitely recommend to try before you buy. Or if you can't do that, just go a half size up just to be absolutely sure. And then outside of that, we've covered everything that you need to know from materials through to sizing. So if we now just go ahead and just wrap up this video. So just to wrap up this video so you guys can get out of here, in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, to give these a rating, I'm going to say that these are a very solid 8.5 out of 10. I absolutely love this shoe from the colorway to the 3M upper, just to the details on the actual shoe itself. All in all, tying it all into one, I think an 8.5 is a pretty fair reflection on the shoe. I am a little bit disappointed about the sizing, but that's on me, not on the shoe itself. So kind of going to have to watch this space and see what we can do. Maybe I might have to just take the insole out and just bear with my you know, current size or maybe see if I can get a half size up if it's still available. Definitely want to keep these in the collection. As I said a little bit earlier, it is actually one of the best looking colorways I've seen all year. So definitely is one that I do want to keep around. I'd love to get your guys' opinion on it as well. So do let me know what you think of my rating. Let me know what yours is and let me know of any of your other thoughts. Do leave all of that in the comment section down below. And if you have stuck around to this point in the video, as always, I want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also, do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Peace.